Hashtag school uniform, but what is going on people of YouTube? My name is Bika, yo, welcome back to a brand new episode of The Preview. The international break is almost over. That's the last one until March, I believe. So, thank goodness, praise the heavens above, and let's celebrate. Let's have an episode of Preview, starting off with my games to watch. Now, I've already recorded this once, but my microphone messed up and did, if you follow me on Twitter, a thing I posted quite a while back where it just speeds up and sounds like... Like when you rewind like an old VHS or something like that, and uh, yeah, so Sam fed up. It's because I'm repeating myself for a second time. Starting off though, Man United versus Arsenal. Game to watch. Reason: Wenger, Mourinho. Need I say more? Next up, Southampton versus Liverpool. A team. You know, going away to the B team. Need I say more? Spurs versus West Ham. Two teams that. Relatively poor recently. I think Spurs are, you know, haven't won in quite a while and are looking rather down despite being unbeaten. So big game for both of them. Finally, Middlesbrough versus Chelsea. Middlesbrough have a goal in them, but Chelsea, you know, unfortunately will not let that happen and are known to score quite a few goals whenever they play. So scary stuff, for Middlesbrough fans. Moving on, though, we've got the goalkeepers, and I started off exactly the same two goalkeepers I said last week. Tom Heaton comes in first. Now, Burnley, strangely, didn't make many saves. He didn't make many saves at all um, in Burnley's game this week, despite them having a quite a fantastic um, game week in the you know, game week 11. But I bring Heaton in, simple reason. I'm looking at the you know the team he's playing, and it's West Brom. I can't see many goals in that, and I can see him making a few decent saves as well. So Heaton is definitely gonna be my top bet for this game week and future game weeks as well. Might I add? Then we've got Tebow. Courtois, the man, the myth, the five clean sheets in a row. Need I mention more? Jack Butland, bit of a risk. Um, he has come back from an injury, or he's coming back from an injury. Um, I'm not sure if he's going to start this coming game week, but if not, look to the future. He's definitely worth bringing in. £4.7 million. If he stays that way when he starts playing again, he'll definitely be squeezed into my team. And Herelio Gomez. Watford have been okay. You know, if you get rid of the 6 1 you know, demolition job, Liverpool did on them. They've been okay. Go back to five at the back, and I feel like I could get a clean sheet against what is a struggling, a struggling away side um, Leicester seems to put out every week. Away week, that is. Moving on to um, tip of the week. Now, as we've had for the past few weeks, and we'll hopefully have for the rest of the season, we have FPL Guidance's tip of the week. Last week, he or last game week, he said Liverpool coverage, and the results were, well... You know, need I say more? 6-1. This week, however, targeting a specific player, and one that I can heavily get behind, is Marcus Alonso. I'm going to read you the DM he sent me. He said, tip of the week goes to Marcus Alonso. Not necessarily guaranteed to score good points over the next three game weeks, but is a great long-term premium defender option. Great value if you're at £6 million, and a good time to transfer him due to injuries to Bellerin and Alderweireld, fairly high-selected defenders. Best premium defender option, in my opinion, due to Chelsea's solid defence and his wing-back position, which sees him get a goal and assist in his last three games. Now, that is also um, you know, a fantastic point, but I think one of the big points uh, that needs to be raised is the fact that Marcus Alonso, has not only, or Chelsea, have not only you know, done it against the minnows of the league, their games have been against you know, Leicester, Man United, Everton, Southampton. They're all tough games. They've wiped them. Absolutely furiously clean and with ease, so he's definitely, definitely worth bringing in your team. Just realized how furiously I said that. Do apologize, like I said, I'm recording this twice. Moving on though to the defenders, first defender before it was on there before I even got the tip of the week is Marcus Lonzo. So, don't think I need to say anything more except he's a good, good option, six million pounds. Then we've got Daryl Yanmat. I did mention what I've got a sneaky chance of getting a clean sheet. Daryl Yanmat's got a sneaky chance of getting more than a clean sheet with potential bonus points, assists, and goals. I think it's definitely worth a gamble. Then, as I almost, um, you know, have a little bit of a burp and fit in my mouth. Uh, um, that's a really weird word. Anyway, um, Eric Peters for Stoke is £4.5 million and well, well worth bringing in. Simple reason, game he's got this week against Bournemouth. They've been struggling, I feel, um, you know, in, in the last few game weeks. You know, they may have got a few points zero there, but I feel like, especially in the last game week, they struggled a lot. And... Um, Definitely, I think a Stoke defender is a worth bringing in. But Peters is my pick of the bunch. Then we've got Kyle Walker. Now, Spurs against West Ham, it's a difficult one to bring in a Spurs defender. But I feel like Kyle Walker's definitely the one you should bring in, if not any Spurs defender. Because I feel like they will get a clean sheet against West Ham. They've been poor away from home of West Ham. 
And I think Spurs have got enough in them to keep a clean sheet. I think they've got the most clean sheets this season, and that'll be set to continue. Then we've got Matt Loughton. Now, a strange one, I have to admit. But, like I say, it could go either way um, against um, West Brom on Monday night. And I feel like it will go the way of um, Burnley, and I think it'll be a clean sheet for them. So, so I stuck Loughton in there. And finally, Van Arnholt. Now, clean sheets have not been a Sunderland's thing this season. In fact, I don't think they've even got one. But... Patrick Van Arnholt in two of the Sunderland's um, home games this season against rather, you know, relegation-threatened opposition in Middlesbrough and West Brom, he's grabbed a goal in each of them. I'm looking at Sunderland's fixture list, and it's Hull, a relegation-threatened Hull. Third goal? I hate to tempt fate, but he, he very well could be. Moving on to midfielders, we've probably used a lot of time, so I'm going to try and go through these quick. We've got Pedro of Chelsea. I, I would have put Hazard in there, quite clearly, but... Hazard isn't 100% on FPL, so not put him in, at least not at the time I'm recording this, by the way. Uh, Pedro comes in, £7.2 million. Pounds. He's the alternative to Hazard, and actually has a decent, decent record in the last few games. I feel like in the last few game weeks, he's grabbed quite a few assists, quite a few goals, quite a few decent performances, and I think that'll be set to continue with Chelsea just looking, at the moment, uh, you know, dare I say it, invincible. Then we've got another player on the, exactly the same price, £7.2 million, pounds, is Adam Lallana. Now, he's really reimagined himself under Jurgen Klopp. So has Coutinho, Firmino, you know, Mane's found a new role, so has Wijnaldum, so has Henderson. The list goes on. He's really transformed Liverpool um, in the, you know, the season he's had to work with them. Lallana's a real good bet. Cheaper than the others and probably not likely to score points than the others, but definitely worth a bet. If you've got the money, go for the front three of Coutinho, Firmino or Mane. One of them three will be sure to score more points more often. Then we've got Snodgrass. Now, he is vital to Hull. He's probably their best player and they're, they're, you know, the player that's got highest chance of scoring points for them. He single-handedly won them the game with a goal and assist against Southampton, and the whole going to need it. A big, big performance um, if they're going to beat Sunderland this coming game week. Then we've got Balassi of Everton, £6.1 million. Pounds. He links up nicely with Lukaku. I think they've combined for quite a few goals this season. Everton face a struggling Swansea who likes to concede goals, so that one looks a given. Then we've got Ramadan Sobby of Stoke. Now, Stoke... I feel like they're starting to perform now, and with the chances of uh, you know Barland being in this week, they'll look much more sturdy. And uh, you know, there's that. But Sobby's a risk. But I don't know if he's going to play. Um, looks like um, oh, Nautovic, sorry, as I almost um, cough again. Um, looks to be back. I think Shakiri could be back. So I don't know if he's going to play or not. And lastly, Good Munson. Um, he's a real big risk, especially like Loughton. He's a big, big risk. But I feel like five point one million pounds. He's definitely um, worth a gamble on. And lastly, we've got the attackers. Starting off, Romelu Lukaku, £9.8 million. Pounds. He is quite a good striker, I'd say. Quite a good striker. He's got pace. He's got strength. He can shoot. That's all he needs, really, isn't it? Well, he can also head the ball. And, um, you know, he's been in tremendous, tremendous form this season. Got seven goals already. I feel like he could add to his tally against Swansea. Then we've got Jermaine Defoe, another striker who I did tip at the start of the season um, to do good things, even at £7 million. Pounds, and... Um, Needless to say, he has done well. And uh, I think he's definitely one to watch this week. Hull and Sunderland both like to see goals. Could be an absolute goal fest. But I do think you know, you've got Defoe. Got to be on the score sheet this coming game week. Then we've got Vokes. Again, if I feel like there's one or goal, two goals in it, Vokes is going to be the most likely man to grab them against West Brom on Monday night. Then we've got Harry Kane. Gone up from 5% selected to 5.4% selected. Got there in the end. Um, Harry Kane looks destined to score another derby of London. I'm really messing up my words. I've lacked sleep, if you can if you can tell. Then we've got Aguero. Need I say more? And Charlie Austin. Now, a strange one. You know, thinking, oh, you can't go against Liverpool. But the thing is, you can go against Liverpool. In fact, they're the only big team I have to say you could, you know, go against with a little bit of confidence because they do concede goals. And uh, quite a few of them. Uh, it's worth noting. So Charlie Austin, I think, is definitely definitely worth a um, gamble. Six point eight million pounds. Uh, he can you know take a chance on the physicality they lack around the whole team. Also, they're error prone with Lovren in there, so I feel like Austin could be in for a goal or two. But that is that for this video. Hopefully, you've enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe, and let me know who out of the players I've picked are you going to bring in? Are you going to bring in the tip of the week? Because I do say Marcus Lonzo is definitely looking like a fantastic prospect for FPL owners. Or have, have I missed anyone? Let me know in the comments section down below. And also any dilemmas, let me know in the comments section down below. And a quick thing, whilst I've been uh, you know 
whilst I've been gone. I fixed my PC for a bit, although I did think that until I recorded this and my microphone spazzed up. So, <sighs> problems keep on rising. That's why I was gone. I had a lot of problems with my PC. I fixed quite a few of them, but there are still problems to be fixed. But I'll try my hardest. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully, you have enjoyed. Have a good game week and peace.